a poem for Fiona, written by Daniel. Today is a day that our vows have been said, but I've said them before, quietly and alone in my head. Love's lightning bolt struck on our second date. In that moment, I knew today was our future's fate. For the stars have aligned and the gods have conspired. Of this feeling of love, we shall never grow tired. Bound to each other, with two rings and our word, that our family and friends have laid witness and heard. Love isn't enough to describe how I feel for you or the way I admire all the things that you do. And to me, it has always seemed so absurd that such feelings can be summed up in one simple word. Because you're impatient, <laughs> unstubborn, <laughs> and know your own will, you're energetic and boundless and never sit still, and you make up for all of the things that I lack. If I let something slip, you always pick up the slack. And I'm sure it's our fate we are meant to be, designed for each other to the highest degree. As I stand here with you, my heart bursting with pride for this beautiful woman who has stood by my side. And through all our shared times, through the rest of our life, through all ups and downs, now as husband and wife, May we face every day with a smile and a laugh and know that together we make each other our own better half. The gift of children is a marvel to all those of us who have been blessed with them. A daughter is a special, special gift because one day as a father, you may be fortunate to offer her hand in marriage to the safekeeping of another. Today, we all bore witness to this in Kinlet Church. So to you, Dan, I ask that you continue to cherish this gift that Helen and I have nurtured these last 28 years and that you will be blessed as we have been too. Helen and I, and I'm sure Colin and Jane too, have had real joy as parents through watching this courtship develop, through its engagement and in Fiona and Dan making a home together from a barn at Roma's farm. Anyone who has been fortunate enough to enjoy their hospitality cannot fail to have felt the love and the respect that they hold for each other. They're just like Darby and Joan, they're all loved up. <laughs> so here today, we witness the start of the joining of two families in a new line. The character, the strong characters I should say, the personality traits and the combined skill sets of these two remarkable young individuals will be something to behold. And I strongly and firmly believe that they will plough a straight furrow for a long time harnessed together. They will face life's challenges together and they will feed each other with encouragement. Therefore, I ask that you will please all be upstanding and join me in a toast to Mr and Mrs Daniel Phillips. <laughs>